Yeah, folks, and welcome back. Safe and sound, Night City Gangs. Hi there, it's your friendly neighborhood K9, Sergeant Dobbs. This useful little guide you're holding contains essential information on Night City's largest gangs and, what, and where you'll learn which districts to avoid, how to recognize gang members, how to avoid dangerous situations. Animals. The animals aren't real animals, they're freaks of nature. Pumped in gills with strength enhancing hormones, they look more like piles of meat than people. They generally avoid cyberware with the exception of cosmetic modifications that's supposed to make them look more like, well, animals. They, they're extremely aggressive and don't need an excuse to brawl, but despite their name, the animals are not a territorial gang. Combined fierce hostile packs of them throughout the city. Is that even the case? I want to say you didn't really see much of them. I, there was a few little niches of them, but that was it. You saw much of them having their own little like hideouts, as you saw them hired as security. Sixth Street Gang. From a distance, they could be easily mistaken for soldiers on leave. Military uniforms, combat boots, buzz cuts, shouting "Ura!" every chance they get. But don't let appearances fool you. Th these are violent and dangerous tugs, ready to slit your throat without a slightest hesitation. You want to watch out for them, especially in Vissel del Rey. The mocks. Handsome girls, beautiful guys. But wait, it's a trap. Stuff well. They'll reel you in with their charm, and when you're least expecting it, bam, your eddies are gone. Or worse. The hole in the wall that passes for their headquarters is called Lizzie's Bar. Best seen from far away, and never entered. Uh, Maelstrom. If you ever find yourself in Watson's industrial area, and it's better that you don't, watch out for the sinister faceplates. That's Maelstrom. To be part of the gang, you have to get your eyes and nose cut off and replaced with demonic, fiery, red optics. Ouch. If they do that to themselves, who knows what they'll do to strangers? Better to leave that mystery unsolved. Tiger Claws. Effervescent neon tattoos with Asian motifs, katanas and shurikens, racing bikes... These are the summer trademarks of the Tiger Claws gang, with a notable presence in Japantown. Ignore them and they shouldn't bother you, but do something to provoke them and it's sayonara, baby. Valentinos. Uh, golden grills, golden implants, golden crosses, and golden machetes. Say hola to the Valentinos. Despite the Catholic symbolism, they're not exactly love thy neighbor types. Those who get in their way usually end up chopped into pieces and tossed into the Del Coronado. Voodoo Boys. These predominantly Haitian gangers are based in Pacifica, but they hunt their victims elsewhere. The net. The Voodoo Boys are most skilled net runners in the Night City Underworld, but beware. That doesn't mean they're not dangerous in real space, too. We should give them wide birds who might end up like one of their black roosters, without a hand. Predominantly Haitian. Do they actually accept in non Haitians? Maybe if someone was in Pacifica, born and raised there for long enough. Hmm. We've never really seen any... We we didn't really see much of the Voodoo Boys, so wouldn't we have a clue? They're ready to discard us as a... Floor rag? What was the phrase again? I've, I've forgotten. Oh, I can see the scene. The quest, I walked the line with the Netwatch agent. Ranian. Yeah, Ranian. Um, the, you know, the eager to dismiss us to Ranian and murk us cause we did the, after we do the job. Something they've apparently done a lot. But yeah, we didn't see much of them outside those few quests. There wasn't even much in Pacifica of, like, side content. Like, the other districts got a lot, but Pacifica didn't even get much. But, anyway, that has been Safe and Sound Night City Gangs. I'm not missing any gangs, are there? Hmm. Anyway. Till then, folks. Till then.